How to listen to an endless stream of data and display it in your app. If your method is returning a future, then it can only return one single time a value. Instead use as a return type a stream and change this async to async asterisk. With this you cannot use the return keyword anymore to return a single value. Instead use the yield keyword and then you can also use it multiple times to change the value over time. Let's also display the stream in our UI, therefore we create a stream builder and put our get number stream inside. First of all, the stream is waiting for 4 seconds and this is when we are in this connection state waiting. After this we return our first value that we can then access over the snapshot data. And if a null value is returned then we go into the else case. With this, if you start the application for the first time, then we wait for 4 seconds and after this we count 1, 2 and 3. A problem right now is if you have a floating action button that calls every time the set state method. Then if we click on this floating action button, the set state method is called and the stream is restarting. And if I click again on this button, it restarts again the stream and this is not what should happen with every set state call. To fix this, make sure that you never call within your build method a stream. Instead put an instance variable inside and this number stream we want to create within our state and then outside of the build method we initialize the stream. With this, if you start your app for the very first time, we wait and count 1, 2 and 3. And now if we call the set state method by clicking on this floating action button, then the stream is not restarted again. And this is because we are not creating every time a new stream when we are rebuilding our widgets. In case you want to refresh your stream, then create again a new stream and place it inside of this number stream that we also placed within the stream builder and make sure to call the set state to update your UI. With this, if we click on this refresh button, it is restarting the stream and you can also restart the stream multiple times if you like. Next, inside your stream you could also throw an error. Notice that everything after it is not executed then anymore. And lastly, we want to display this error message then within our UI. Inside of our stream builder we can check if we have a snapshot error. This time after waiting for 4 seconds, then we display this error message. And finally, to have full control over your stream, you can use the connection state. The connection state is none if the stream is null. The connection state is waiting until you get the first value returned by the stream. The connection state is active once we receive the first value from the stream and the stream is not yet finished. And the connection state is done if the stream has finished and when nothing is anymore executed within this method. With this, if our stream starts for the first time, it is waiting. After it, it goes then into the active case. And lastly, it is going to the done case if the last value was emitted and our stream is closed. Mm -hmm.